Statistically, January and February are the coldest months of the year, with an average temperature of 19 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 7 degrees Celsius before the wind chill. The annual snowfall season is from November to April, with an average of over 60 inches. I think those facts can seem intimidating, which is why I've had a couple of requests to make this video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a winter survival guide because you asked for it. I have lived in the Midwest for most of my life, so I feel pretty qualified to be talking about this information. Um, I also talked to my roommate, so really big shout out to Lulu for this video. She helped me film and she also told me some things that she didn't really realize about winter in the midwest or things that she's picked up from being from california and coming here the first part of the video we'll talk about some clothing um options how to layer outerwear what kind of brands to buy um what people in notre dame typically wear etc and then in the second half of the video i'll just add in some additional tips and i'll do it kind of as i walk around campus so a little bit of sneak peeks of campus i know the tours for coming to visit are closed right now so hopefully that helps out a little bit other than that, let's just go ahead and get started into the clothing tips. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm supposed to tell you to not bring a lot of clothes to campus. Um, I just don't function like that. First of all, here are two different sweatshirts. This one is from Aloe Yoga and it was over $100. And this one, I'm pretty sure was thrifted. And both of these keep me equally warm. I haven't worn this yet this semester because it has not been warm enough to wear it yet. This is merch by Alicia Marie. I adore her. But this isn't like meant for winter outerwear, um, jacket, sweaters. It's just not that material. Very thin. Inside here, it feels the exact same as the outside. There's no fluff for insulation of any type um i'd probably layer it put like a long sleeve underneath or even like a turtleneck could be cute just like a little collar popping out something like that um this jacket is so extremely warm and i'll tell you why even though this is cropped the leather keeps you <laughs> sweating Leather is one of those materials that sticks to your skin and keeps you so, so warm. The buildings are usually really warm. Notre Dame does an amazing job of keeping the buildings heated, um, but sometimes it's almost too much of a contrast for me personally. I rather just wear a super heavy coat um, and then be able to take that off when I go inside and be the perfect temperature of layering so extremely important especially when you're trying to go in and out from classes to activities and clubs and different things if it's warm inside take that sweatshirt off and have a t-shirt underneath you know i don't usually layer that much but from talking to my roommate she does a lot of things that are very beneficial that i feel like we should talk about so one of them is jeans if she's wearing jeans that day she wears a pair of biker shorts underneath her jeans it's very common when it's cold outside to uh, feel your thighs getting kind of numb <laughs> so that's a solution that she's found under armor does a really good job of making like fleece long sleeves and leggings that you can wear um when we did a snowball fight we had our campus snowball fight for our first snowfall um I wore some fleece leggings. I will show them to you. This is what the fleece leggings look like. These are actually Notre Dame ones. Is that better? Can you see? This fleece is so extremely thick and it has that like waterproof kind of material on the outside too. So yes, um, fleece leggings, super helpful. As far as going outside, gloves, are going to keep your hands warm. You can get wind burn, your hands can get red and cracked and dry from the weather. So gloves are super helpful for that. Mine are from the bookstore. Again, <laughs> everything Notre Dame themed. Um, but there are some really good ones online too. I know North Face has a really good like thicker waterproof glove. As far as boots go, I will show you mine. These are my boots. Okay, they're by Sorel question mark. I'm not quite sure how to say the name of this brand, um, but it is a pretty popular brand that's like really good for their winter footwear. Um, you can also get Timberlands, you know, Eddie Bauer, literally Uggs. 
I wouldn't be too picky about your boots because Notre Dame does an amazing job of keeping the walkways clear. If you have some image that you're going to be like, you know, like trotting through a foot of snow to class every day, that's just simply not the case. Um, they clear that off the pathways right away. Overnight, they're very on top of it. They put salt out. If you don't know, salt is really good to combat ice. Boots can be kind of expensive, but because you're not, you know, walking straight through snow, I wouldn't stress about those too much. Long coats are amazing. A lot of people wear a long coat that goes past their waist, sometimes, you know, even down to their knees. The longer coat um, helps your thighs stay warm, your legs stay warm, but also like helps prevent wind from coming up. My coat is from North Face. The difference it makes to zip it up, guys, <laughs> zip up your coats. We all like to make a good investment on our coats. You'll see a lot of Canada Goose running around, a lot of North Face. In the fall, I brought this, this is North Face. Um, I brought this coat. It doesn't go down all the way, um, but this is really good for like fall and transitioning um, in and out of the winter season. If your coat looks like this, um, I would say it's not warm enough. I would say to make an investment on a little bit of a heavier coat. Also something to be super aware of, um, Lulu mentioned she didn't know this before she came here, so I will mention it to you just in case. Um, but when you're outside, especially if you're not wearing gloves or have your hood up or a hat or ear warmers of any type, your fingers and ears, if not properly covered and warm, will turn bright red and they will freeze. <laughs> and you might not realize that your hands and ears are frozen until you walk into a building or somewhere where it's warm and you get a chance to thaw. I would describe thawing as like a hot, tingling pressure. Um, you'll, just, you'll just know when it happens. Something to look out for, it's normal. But in all realness, don't let the weather stop you from going to your dream school, even if it's not Notre Dame. This is Kayla, the rector of Lions Hall. Hey! And she's from New Orleans. So I am. So she knows all about coming from the south to Indiana weather. Do you it's have true. any tips? Yes. If there's a sunny day outside, take advantage of it. And everything is better with... <laughs> and everything is better with a good bagel and some tea swift. Yes! Love. Lions Hall, best hall, that's all we're going to say. What? <laughs> Opt for an evening shower or blow dry your hair in the morning because going outside with a wet head can make your hair freeze and get you sick faster. Duck into buildings on your way to class to take a break from the cold. Take off your coat when you enter a building because your body will naturally adjust to the surrounding temperature and it'll make it easier to go back outside again. Believe it or not, wearing your mask keeps your face warmer and keeps you safe from COVID. <laughs> Another tip is to get hand warmers or hot hands and you can just tuck these under your gloves, especially if you're standing outside for a long period of time and your hands tend to get cold. This is a great solution. Remember to always layer according to your needs. If your friend isn't wearing their heaviest coat, that doesn't mean that you can't. Opt for a hot coffee instead of a cold one to keep your hands warm. Vlog! Hi! Coffee! Here we are, filming. Oh, she's putting her mask on like a good student. Even though I'm immune, I still do- I, I still follow the rules. Oh, I still follow the rules. <laughs> I just want my coffee. It takes too long. The budget for this video was the price of this coffee. And the coffee isn't arriving. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I actually had a really fun time making it. Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. That's probably the best way. And in the meantime, go Irish. Hope to see you on campus. Bye.